Hi everybody. Um, I'm kind of glad to be back where I actually have some time again to start doing some videos and working on my railroad. I think it's been about a year since I did my last video. And uh, this is one of those situations again where life kind of got in the way. A year ago last fall, my dad got sick. And that kind of fell on my shoulders and my girlfriend's shoulders and my brother's shoulders to, to look after him. And uh, he absolutely refused to go in the nursing home with the whole COVID situation. He said, I'm not going to go in there and, and die alone. No how, no way. So we looked after him. And uh, the nice thing about it was, I was lucky enough, I, I was self-employed and I could take time to do that. And uh, the last four or five months of his life, I got to spend almost every day with him. And when he fell up to it, we played some crib. He loved crib. So we played a lot of games of crib. I enjoyed skunking each other too. Uh, sometimes I stump, sometimes he stump, but that's the way crib goes. And uh, we also had a lot of heart to heart talks. And uh, if I hadn't have been self employed like I was, I would not have been able to spend those last few months with dad. Man, I, I cherish those memories. Uh, it, was, it was a great time. A lot of sadness there too, but, but a lot of close times as well. Uh, but anyhow, Dad passed away a year ago in March. After he passed away, girlfriend and I got talking, and we decided there wasn't a whole lot holding us in Smith Falls. And even though our house was worth a fair bit of money, to try to buy something else was just just nuts. So uh, we got looking at other options. We ended up in New Brunswick. We sold our house in Smith Falls after I did a little bit of work on it, with the girlfriend's help, of course, and got it ready to sell. And in the middle of August, we sold it, and here we are. We're in New Brunswick now. We ended up buying a house that was built in 1896, from what I've been told, uh, which is kind of interesting, because that's about the time my great-grandparents were born. So, a lot of history here, and I'm still looking into that, trying to dig up the history on this place. But, uh, right here I am standing in the carriage house, or what I believe was the carriage house. And there's a second floor on it, and it is almost 20 feet wide by 30 feet long. So, it should make a really nice railroad. A lot of work to do, and on a day like today, there's not much work being done. It is just too cold. It's uh, minus 24 Celsius, and, which is about 10 degrees Fahrenheit, or 10 below Fahrenheit, sorry about that. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's just way too cold. Uh, but I did get some work done on it, and I'm looking forward to getting to the point where I can actually start building my railroad again. So I hope you all want to come along for the ride while I build my new Rideau River Regional Railroad. Thank you. Bye. This is my office and workstation. That's my programming track set up. 
kind of a mess still, but I'm working on it. And here's the door going out to the train room. There's the original board from 1896. And I got ceiling joists put in. Got the lights for the ceiling done. And I started on the insulation, but I may go ahead with spray foam. It will help keep this room warmer and cooler. I'm going to put in a, a heat pump, or what the locals call a mini split. And I've got the back wall wired. You can still see outside there. And those are windows that I'm saving for the girlfriend's greenhouse. This place was an awful mess. A big, huge trailer load of junk I took out of here. There's the uh, stairs going down to my garage. Still have the back wall yet to wire up. Right about there is going to be a big island. 